through this. But I want to see what's inside. Let's cut it open and see. for me it weighs as much as me so I won't take a chance I'm just going to uh, move the stuff away first and then I'm going to call for some help okay I got some help and the printer is on the rack now uh, let's keep unpacking it I'm going to remove the bubble wrap The accessories comes with the 3D printer. We've got the PLA filament, a spool holder, and a bag of. Um, uh, there's some Allen keys, a screwdriver, a wrench, and a USB stick for the software. And a USB cable. A filament guide too, but it doesn't seem like a PTFE. I don't know what that is. And uh, a groove stick. Not a very good side, but okay, we'll see. So on the top, we have the instruction. Usually, uh, Fresh Forge are pretty good at this. Uh, it comes with both uh, Chinese and English, so uh, for you guys, it's okay. Uh, This is the warranty. Put it aside. And we still have one more accessory. That's the power cable in here. And let me peel off the sticker. I need to remove from the bell and the smooth wrappers. to uh, plug in the power cable and remove the bubble underneath. It's a nice large uh, display, it's very easy to read. So we go to tools and then menu. Now 
one, let's uh, level the bed. So I'm gonna read the instruction as we go along. Screw three nuts under the platform, enter clockwise until you can't tighten them anymore. Then tap OK button. All right. Are you sure you can't tighten these three nuts anymore? Yes. Distance too big. Unscrew call responding nut under platform clockwise until hearing a steady beat. So I followed the instruction and as you can see, the nut almost uh, fall off but the little switch, uh, it didn't uh, touch the bed at all. I guess, um, uh, let me try unscrew the other one as well. It's so strange. Um, I followed the instruction, but it didn't say anything like unscrew two at the same time. Uh, I guess I will talk to Flashforge later about this problem. And now just tap OK button to next point leveling. Unscrew the same thing. Unscrew corresponding nut on the platform clockwise and during a steady beat. I hope this time I don't need to unscrew uh, two at the same time. So it's never it's okay, but I'm not totally happy about it. I would consider it um, assisted leveling uh, rather than um, auto leveling. I will talk to Freshforge about it and see what can they can do. Maybe they can improve it a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to, to load some filament and try a test try out a test print. I'm going to load in the PLA filament that came in the box. On the display, just press tools and then filament, load. Just wait till it uh, hits up to 100%. Alright, looks like it comes out smoothly. Let's try a test brief. Now go back to the menu, select build, and then I'm just gonna print out whatever is on my USB stick. And the box PLA. Now 
now let's try some soft government. This is Fresh Print, it's the Fresh Forge Slicer. I know a lot of people prefer Simplify 3D. I like it also, it's a very powerful tool. And uh, if I have a difficult print, I'll definitely use it. But 90% of my prints, I just use Fresh Print. It's easy and simple, so I tend to use it more. This is the bottom I'm trying to print. Of course, first I need to add the support because it's hanging in the uh, on in the air. So I generate the support and then oh, I'm not going to save the file. But take a look. It's uh, now. This is how it looks. And hit I hit print. It's just the default setting. I didn't change anything. Boom. That's it. Here's what we know about the printer so far. Number one, I took it out of the box this morning. Uh, I leveled the bag, I hit print, and it printed. Printing out of the box is uh, very important for me because I don't want to spend too much time to fiddle with it. Number two, it is assisted leveling. It's not auto leveling. So it might take you a minute to level the bag. But after that, I printed the... Uh, uh, bikini, there was no problem, there were no felt prints or jam. I didn't cut out any part of that uh, in my video, uh, but uh, you do have to be aware of the, this issue. Number three, uh, it is very difficult to print out soft filament, and this uh, and the Fresh Forge Guider 2 does that. I'm very happy about that because it's my priority. I often print out uh, a lot of wearables, and I think for cosplayer, it's the same. Uh, number four, there is this big black box on the top of the extruder. We don't know what's going on there. What if it jams? What if other stuff happen? I still need to uh, open it and uh, see what happens. So uh, I will uh, shoot more videos in, uh, uh, in the future and show you guys what the potential problems are. But until then, I have a pool party to attend to. Uh, hopefully the Fresh Forge Guider 2 printed is strong enough, uh, it won't uh, fall apart, uh, and I will uh, keep you guys updated. Stay tuned, thanks for watching.